the first one says you're given this amount of information 20 years 7500 face amount and the bond has an annual coupon rate 7.4 percent paid to men well 7.4 divided by 2 is 3.7 right so face amount of 7500 times 0.037 right now it says purchase price results in 5.3 semi-annual, which is 2.65, and there are 20 years total, semi-annual years, 40, right? Now, plus, uh, we want to calculate the redemption value of the bond, but then the third says the amount of, for, but based upon the fact that the amount for MRTG to a premium in the fourth coupon payment is 28.31. So what does that mean? That means that how would we be able to find the amount of premiums? That would mean that we would have to subtract two different book values and that would equal to 28.31. So now what that means is that if the amount for amortization of premium in the fourth coupon payment is 28.31, then that would mean that a premium from the time pre prior or the coupon prior caused the premium to do 28.31. So that means that we would have to find the pricing of bond pricing after the third coupon. So that would mean that after the third coupon, it would be 7,500 times uh, 0 0.037 A to the, well, let's see. Hmm. Uh, 40, okay, well, we wanna find out the time that the third payment occurs, right? So uh, if the third, if a third coupon payment has occurred, that would mean that we could take 40 minus three and we would find out that it, if the time value in which the third uh, payment occurs is 37, it is 40 minus three. And then uh, at uh, 5.3 semi-annually, in which we determine 2.65%. Plus uh, redemption value, we don't know, uh, to the V to the 37, right? So I'm going to solve this part for it. I'm going to 7,500 times 0 0.037. I'm get 277.5, right? Now I'm going to take my calculator. I'm going to do 277.5 as the payment, 37 as the number of years, 2.65 as the interest rate zero as the future value, I'm going to compute present value, it's going to be uh, six four nine three point zero five plus uh, we will do 1.0265 to the negative 37. We're going to get uh, 0.37 as the price, as the book value of uh, um, the price of the third coupon, right? Now we're going to do this for the fourth coupon, right? So we're going to do, uh, so again, wh when does the fourth coupon occur? We'll do 40 minus 4. It will be at time 36, right? So I'm going to replace this with 36, 36. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just solve this for 36. So I'm going to do, again, 7,500 times 0 0.037, 277 is Payment, 36 as the number of years, 2.65 as the interest rate, zero as the future value, compute present value, it's going to be 6387.61. Uh, 1.0265 to the negative 36 and get uh, 0.3900117 
Now, then I'm going to uh, subtract both the values and I'm going to set it equal to 28.31 because subtraction of both values, both values will equal the amount of premium that has occurred, right? So I'm going to, uh, yeah, subtract both values. So uh, what I could do here is I could do uh, 6493.05 minus 6387.61 and get 105.44. And then I'm going to do um, 0.379943 minus uh, 0.39001117 and get minus uh, 0.0100687 uh, C is A equal to 28.31. Then we do 28.31 minus 105.44 uh, divided by uh, negative 0 0.01006 and I'm going to get 7,660.37 as C, which represents A as C, the death value.